uh, to show different banner images on mobile and desktop in Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video and in this video we are going to be talking in great detail and depth about how you're going to be able to, you know, manipulate and show different banner images on different views and those different views are going to be your mobile view and your desktop view. Now, you know, you're probably thinking to yourself, is that really possible? How are you supposed to actually go with two different views on two different desktops, okay? So, trust me, it's absolutely possible and it's absolutely doable. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end so you can understand the full detail and depth of how this is, you know, actually going to work. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this. So to get straight into this, first of all, you're going to want to make sure to be logged into your Shopify. And once you're logged into your Shopify, you're also going to want to make sure to have a fully set it up Shopify account. Now, after you have a fully set it up Shopify account, you are going to want to make sure that you do have an idea of how to upload media into your Shopify store. And once you upload media and how you're going to add banner images, I'm going to be walking you through all those things, you know, uploading media, adding banner images. We're going to be talking about all of it. So please do make sure, as I said, to watch this video till the end so you can get a clear idea of how things work in this case. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, to start things off, what you are going to be doing is obviously, first of all, we're going to go ahead and choose a nice theme for our store, right? So the theme for the store can be accessed through online store over here. Okay, and you're going to choose a theme with uh, a nice, uh, you could say, open out, you know, a good looking banner image up here. So in this case, Dawn or Refresh would be the best options. Okay, Dawn is the default theme. Refresh is the second free theme that we have on Shopify. And trust me, these two themes, they work like a charm. They're pretty incredible and uh, they don't disappoint you. So please do make sure to use them. They're absolutely incredible. Now. Moving on, once we've discussed which themes are actually good for us, uh, let's also go ahead and discuss the editorial sequences of these. Like, you won't need to mess around with any certain code or anything. Uh, all you're going to need to do is you are going to be working with a very basic and a very, you could say, simple uh, style of uh, customization, okay? So to get into this customization, what you're going to be doing is first of all, you're going to go into your settings. Okay. And once you go into your Shopify stores settings over here, you're going to go into your media. Okay. And obviously when you come into your media over there, you're going to allow yourself to add your, you know, necessary things. Okay. Now, in the case you can't find your media over here, it would be in the content form. But if your store is updated, then it's probably on the left hand side over here. You're going to go into content and you're going to go into files. Now, in this file section, as you can see, I've uploaded a few things. You can upload files of yourself as well. OK, and once you do that, now we're going to come back to our online store over here. And once we are in our online store, Okay, first of all, you are going to want to make sure to create a duplicate of your store, okay? Because I don't want my, you know, working to ruin anything you liked about your store. So you're going to create a duplicate of the store and you're going to customize the duplicate of your store. Don't, you know, customize the original store because what happens is if you customize the duplicate, you know, and you like the changes, you can publish the store and make this the original. But if you don't like the changes, you can just discard it by clicking on delete. And yeah, so let's go into customization and talk about how we're going to, you know, set images apart in the different views. So to set images apart, you are going to want to do a few things. First of all, we're going to stay in the desktop view and, uh, you know, obviously we are going to want to make sure I'm just going to add these things down here. So here's my image banner and uh, in the image banner, we are going to be adding our image, right? So obviously you can uh, go into the stock images that they provide you or you can go with these ones. So I'm going to add this image. 
Okay, so let's say this is the Nike swoosh that I've added as my brand logo, you know, just for exemplary purposes. And uh, moving on, you can also add another photo, which, you know, creates a very significant response in this. So let's come down here, click on second image. Uh, you can upload any kind of second image, add any kind of second image by just clicking on add images. And uh, let's say we have Nike over there. I'm just going to add a photo of uh, a Nike product that I have on my system. So I'm just going to take this picture of the Nike product. And once you've taken this picture of the Nike product, add it, click on upload. We're going to click on done. And you can see these two products are going to be mudged in over there. Okay. It's really fun and really simple to mess around with these things. So once you've done that, you're going to click on save. Once you click on save, now we're going to come over to our mobile view. Now in the mobile view, you can see the same images have applied themselves. So how are we going to undo that? You know, we don't want that. We don't really want this kind of working. So to undo all of this, what you are going to be doing is you're going to be going into your liquid. Okay. And what is your liquid? Let me show you. You're going to come back here. You're going to come back here in the custom one. You're going to go into edit code. And as you go into edit code, you're just going to make sure for things to load up. And once things load up over here in your code section, right here down, uh, you're going to see a few things. And we are going to go over to assets. And as you go over to assets, you should see an asset called section image banner dot css okay so you're gonna find that over here uh section image banner there we go so you're just gonna go ahead open that up and once you open that up you are gonna want to paste a certain code in this section okay so what is the code that you're gonna paste in this section let me show you so this is the link and you can find the link in the description below or you can pause the video and take this link off okay you're going to find the code in this link and once you get the code the code is basically going to be a banner media code that you are going to add right under the banner display over here right so once you add that code what that will allow your code to do is basically there will be one set image for your main view, which is going to be your desktop view. And then you can add another image for your mobile view. That code essentially does that. I don't exactly know how because I don't understand code that well. But yeah, those are the essential things that the code does for you. And uh, that's all the things you're going to need. You're just going to add a liquid code and things are going to be done for you. So yeah, that's essentially about it for this video. And if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see all of you wonderful people in the next video. Goodbye.